this series. So today we're here to work with some of the arm balancing transition of the third series of Ashtanga Vinyasa. So it's a work which I recommend to take with loads of patience and a lot of time and not in a rush. So let's see where we're at, let's go and explore and uh, some magic might happen along the way. So let's get started. And for today's sequence, we're going to start standing and get right into it. We're going to use Surya Namaskara A as a warm-up and from there we're going to start to progress. So, standing at the top of the mat, we're going to start in Samastiti or Tadasana. Tadasana means mountain pose. Samastiti translates as equal standing. From here, ground all four corners of your feet into the mat. Hands in Anjali Mudra, hands in prayer at the center of your chest. Bow your chin to your chest, your mind towards your heart. Set an intention before your practice. And exhale all the air out. As you inhale, gaze forward. And let's begin. Surya Namaskara. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, dive forward. Uttanasana. As you inhale, extend your spine halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale for the first one. We're going to step back and slowly lower all the way to the ground via Chaturanga Dandasana. As we inhale, coming into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Relax your scapula down your spine. Gaze down the bridge of your nose. Exhale, tuck your toes. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And take a deep inhale here. Stretch your spine back. Exhale fully. Inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float, front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow deeply. Inhale, reverse swan dive, sweep your arms up, Drishti follows the palms. Exhale, Tadasana and Samastiti. Again, inhale, Urdhva Namaskar. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. As you inhale, Gaze forward, extend the spine. Exhale this time, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Bend your elbows and continue gazing forward. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settle in down dog and take a couple of deep and even breaths as you inhale. And as you exhale, make a check in of Mula Bandha and Ujjana Bandha. Relax your neck. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Urdhva Namaskar. Exhale, Tadasana. Take a deep breath. Exhale, fully. One more, inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ground the palms, step, chest forward, legs back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, lift your right leg to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between your palms, ground the back foot, heel to heel or out, alignment to inhale. Sweep your arms up, warrior one. Inhale, as you exhale, lunge deeper into the pose. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open. And transition into warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. Extend arms in opposite directions. As you inhale, reverse your warrior. Left palm down the back thigh. Lengthening the right side waist. Exhale, Parshva Konasana. Right palm to the outer blade of the right foot. Extend the left arm overhead. Rotate, rotating your chest to the right. Gaze, Drishti, is towards the left palm. As you inhale, extend the right leg, lifting the left arm to the ceiling for three konasana. You might want to come to your fingertips to elevate your spine and find length. Inhale. Exhale, rebend the right knee. Parjva konasana. Extend the left arm overhead. Extended side angle. Inhale here. Exhale, windmill the left palm to the ground, stepping into plank. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot in between your palms, gaze forward. Ground the back foot, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, warrior one. Gaze up, palms touch. 
Exhale, lunge deeper. Inhale, open, warrior two. Extending the arms in opposite directions. Try to contain your core. And reverse your warrior. Right palm down the back thigh. Left arm extends up and overhead. Feel all the length on the left side waist. And as you exhale, large bakonas in the left palm to the outer blade of the left foot. Extend the right arm overhead. Drishti at the right palm. Rotate your chest. Inhale. Extend the left leg for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Right arm stretches up to the ceiling, gaze up, inhale here. Exhale, re-bend the left knee, extend the right arm overhead. Inhale, exhale, windmill the palms to the ground, step it into plank, gaze forward, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale. Inhale deeply, exhale fully, one more inhale, as you exhale bend the knees, gaze forward, step or float, front of the mat, inhale Ardha Uttanasana, exhale bow, bend the knees, coming into fierce pose or chair pose, Utkatasana, palms touch, exhale Tadasana, mountain pose, last standing pose flow, bend your knees so you might start to feel the heat, and sweep your arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen. Exhale, round your palms, step or float, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rotate your left foot, step your right foot forward. And from here, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. One breath, one movement. Inhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Exhale, Parshva Konasana, extended side angle. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your left palm to your left waist and coming into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Ground your right palm a little to the right and forward of your right foot. Elevate the left leg parallel to the ground. Gaze up, inhale. Exhale, re-bend the right knee, step delicately back into warrior two, and lunge deep. Inhale, vira two. Exhale, windmill the palms to the mat, step it into plank, chaturanga lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath, inhale. Exhale, deep. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left foot in between the palms. Rotate and ground the right foot. Inhale, sweep your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Virabhadrasana, two, gaze forward. Inhale, extend the left leg, trikonasana. Sweep your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend the left knee, parjva konasana. Right arm extends overhead, gaze to the right palm. Right palm to your waistline, and walk your back foot closer, stepping up into half moon. Ardha Chandrasana, extend the right arm up, gaze up, and then micro bend your left knee and slowly step back into warrior two. Ground the back foot, lunge deeply, inhale. Exhale, windmill the palms to the ground and come into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And take a couple of deep breaths here. Exhale. One more inhale. As you exhale, bend the knees, gaze to the front of the mat, step or float forward. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, bow deeply. Inhale, bend your knees for Utkatasana, chair pose, palms touch, and Tadasana, mountain pose. Okay, let's go and observe crow pose from here, and we're then gonna take it from another entry. So, step back, Leave some space at the front of the mat, bend your knees, take your weight towards your heels, and then slowly come to a squatting position onto your tiptoes. From here, nestle your arms in front of your shins. To begin with, the elbows slightly splay out to the side, palms are well rounded, and then shift the weight forward, lift one foot and the other, feet touch, and lift towards your sit bones, gaze forward, three, Two, one, jump back, Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale here. Exhale, Balasana. And sit bones to heels. Inhale, we prepare for tripod headstand and we're going to approach the same pose from tripod. So ground your palms. We're going to create a triangle. So the two palms are the base. The head is the top of the triangle. So don't place the head in between your palms, but slightly forward. From here, keep your elbows contained. Slowly walk your feet forward and lift your legs up into tripod. And take a couple of grounding breaths here. Start to separate your knees and slowly re-lower into crow pose, landing with your shin bones onto your upper arms. And press the floor away. Gaze forward, crow pose, bakasana. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm gonna walk myself back onto the mat. You probably have to do the same. <laughs> And take a deep breath, inhale, exhale fully. Inhale, gaze beyond your palms and jump through to a seated position. Okay, from here we're going to take a moment in Navasana and then soles of the feet together. We're going to try Padmasana. So full lotus pose, bring the right leg first and keep your foot active, then the left. And from here, this is full lotus pose. We're going to bring this into the next arm balance, which is Urdhva Kukutasana. Let's first try to lift all this package from the ground. So ground your palms. Three, two, one, and lift up. One, two. It's all bandhas. Smile. And three, release. Okay, we're going to take this into the next arm balance, which is, as I said, Urdhva Kukutasana. So cross your shins and make your way back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, lower your knees to the ground. From here, we're gonna prepare for a tripod once again. Bend your elbows, place the crown of the head in front of your palms, creating a triangle. Tuck your toes, walk forward. Inhale, lift your legs up. And then start to take lotus into tripod. So from here, crossing your legs. Try to make it very compact. Slowly lower. trapezium muscle away from your ears. Take one more breath, inhale, exhale fully. Slowly reground your palms, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step back, coming into plank, chaturanga lower, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, lift the left leg, inhale, pigeon prep on the left side, bringing the left shin forward, and walking the right leg back. So ideally, when the hip is really open, the left shin bone is parallel to the anterior part of the mat. 
Another important point of alignment is the backpipe that has to be parallel to the outer, outer edge of the mat. From here, square your hips to the front, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower. Make the pillow with your forearms, rest your head, and try to drop into the pose. So the tendency here is to collapse onto the left side. We have to counter that, trying to keep our weight well centered. So re-squaring. If you want, you can also gaze forward. Take a couple of breaths here. One more inhale. And exhale fully. Ground your palms, gaze forward. Exhale, step back. Plank pose, chaturanga lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, I'm going to walk my hands back towards my feet. I'm going to bring the inner blades of the feet together, bend my knees for chair pose. Inhale, sweep my arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. Okay, let's take this into flying pigeon, Galavasana. So, ground your left foot, micro bend your knees, bring the right ankle onto the left knee, and bring yourself back into figure four of Katasana. Gaze forward, hands in prayer, and then place the palms onto the ground. Make a shelf with your elbows. Hook the right foot around the left upper arm and bring the shin bone onto the right upper arm. Shift your weight forward and extend the left leg back. Three, two, one. Slowly release back now. And come back in figure four with Katasana. Inhale up, exhale release. Moving on to the left side, we're going to bend the knees, bring the left ankle onto the right knee, hands in prayer, gaze forward, ground your palms, hook the left foot around the right upper arm, make a shelf with your elbows, shift the weight forward, extend the right leg back, three, two, one, exhale, release, making your way back, rewinding just like we came in, and releasing. Okay, coming back to the front of the mat, we're now going to take it from tripod. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, place your palms, step or float. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring the knees to the ground. And once again, we're going to prepare for tripod. So ground your palms, form a tripod with your head, so a triangle. Place the crown of the head where the point of the triangle is. Walk your feet in, slowly lift your legs up. And then let's come into the pose. So bring your right ankle onto the left knee. The opposite leg helps me to hook the right shin onto the upper arms, gaze forward, and extend the left leg back. Three, two, one, slowly release. Knees into your chest, extend the legs up to the ceiling, and change sides. Left ankle crosses in front of the right knee, bend the right knee, and help yourself with the right leg to hook, the left foot onto the upper arms, press the palms into the ground, to bring yourself into flying pigeon, extend the right leg back, three, two, one, slowly release, and bring the knees into the chest, lift up into tripod once again, and slowly make your way through your vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, and walk yourself back onto the mat. And take a couple of settling breaths here. Relax your neck. Shake it out. <laughs> Inhale, gaze forward. You're going to jump through to a seated position. And release. From here, we're going to take a twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana to rinse our spine out. So cross the right leg on top of the left. Straight spine. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Left elbow outside the right knee. Gaze beyond the right shoulder. You can ground the back palm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, unwind. Counter twist to the left. And come back to center. Change crossing. So, from here, the left knee is elevated. So, 
I'm going to rotate my chest to the left, right elbow, inhale, extend the arm, exhale, right elbow hooks outside the left knee, straight spine as you inhale, as you exhale, rotate a little bit deeper into the twist. Inhale back to center, unwind, counter twist, so opening the spine towards the right, smile, <laughs> and come back to center. Okay, so from here, we're going to slowly unroll our spine, one vertebra at a time, coming all the way to lay back onto our spine, bringing your feet near next to your sit bones. We're gonna take bridge pose from here, so inhale, lift your lower back from the ground, squeeze an imaginary block in between your knees, interlace the palms under your backs, and tuck your chin towards your chest. Continue to energetically press the knees forwards as if you want to lengthen. Take another full round of breath, inhale. Exhale here. One more inhale. Under the crossing of your palms and slowly one vertebra at a time, release down to the ground. And take a breath. So from here, we're going to move into Urdhva Dhanurasana, full wheel pose. So bring your palms next to your ears. Contain your elbows as they have the tendency to open out to the sides. Instead, we always want to contain the elbows towards center. Exhale fully and extend your tailbone forward. And then as you inhale, bring the crown of your head to the mat. Exhale, press all the way up, full wheel pose. From here, you can start to close the pose and walk your feet and hands towards each other and start moving forward and back a couple of times. Come up to stand. And breathe. We're going to drop back, so separate your feet. Inhale fully. One more full round of breath here, and exhale. Okay, rotate onto your side, and we're gonna take a moment to take one more back bend. It's a little bit deeper, and it's scorpion pose. So from here, you're gonna ground your forearms, placing the elbows right underneath the shoulder blades. Tuck your toes, and walk your feet forward. You need to extend one leg up. Bend your knees. Bringing your feet towards your head. Bringing your chest forward. Breathing deeply. One day my feet will touch my head, but for today, <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> little problem with <laughs> being in my seat waiting and <laughs> the weight of my belly is bringing me back so that's all I can do to demo for today so take a moment and extend the child's pose walk your palms forward inhale slowly unroll your spine coming to sit exhale and extend your legs out in front of you for staff pose dandasana and chin towards your chest. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, lengthen forward. And if this is too easy for you, I recommend you place a block at the base of your feet. If one is not enough, you can place two. And really, after such intense back bends, really stretch your spine fully. So, Paschimottanasana, the pose I'm showing you here is an extreme west side body stretch. So what we're doing here is we're stretching all the muscles from our calves all the way to our upper back, lengthening. 
Breathe deeply here. One more full round, inhale. Exhale deeply. Inhale, gaze forward. Set the blocks to the side. Sweep your arms up. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, one vertebra at a time, release to the ground. All the way down. Bend your knees. We're going to take a supine twist from here. And you're going to bring the knees together. Open your arms shoulder distance. Move your hips slightly to the right. Drop both knees over to the left. Gaze beyond the right arm. Inhale, knees back to center. Move your hips slightly to the left. Drop both knees over to the right. Gaze beyond the left arm. Inhale. Exhale, bring the knees back to center. And from here, hug the knees to your chest. Apanasana. And take a moment in happy baby. Bringing the knees towards the ground, massaging your back, left to right, rocking and rolling. And then extend yourself fully into corpse pose, Shavasana from here. Let your legs fall, let your feet fall out to the side, palms face up. Maybe nestle your scapula closer to each other under your back. Take a deep inhale and exhale. to relax and take in all the reservoirs of the work. You can stay here as much as you wish and for time's sake I'm going to invite those of you that have only a 30 minute increment to slowly bring your awareness back to your breathing. Taking some deeper breaths, wiggling your fingertips, bending one knee to your chest and the other. Rotate onto one side in fetal position. And then slowly make yourself comfortable in a cross-legged position to close the practice. Find your spine fully elevated. Relax your shoulders. Palms in prayer at the center of your heart. I thank you for sharing this time with me, for taking your time to practice. And I invite you to keep this practice as a work in progress because in yoga you never really arrive. It's always a continuous evolution and it's beautiful to see the point from which you start and uh, the progress you make along the way. So thank you for practicing with me and I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you very much.